I'm Richard Byrne, the host of Practical Ed Tech and FreeTechForTeachers.com. On Sunday evening, I put up a post about places to find DIY, hands-on STEM projects. One of those places is Microsoft's Hacking STEM library. And what you see behind me here, or next to me, is one of those projects. It's the Wave Machine, using just barbecue skewers, the kind you would use for shish kebabs, uh, and some gumdrops. In my case, I actually used, instead of gumdrops, some Jolly Rancher soft candy chews. Now, I modified this, so I hacked the hacking stem just a little bit by doing a couple of little things. First of all, Microsoft recommended using ribbon and hot gluing the skewers to a piece of ribbon. Instead, I used double-sided Velcro tape that I found at Lowe's, cost me about six dollars for about six and a half, seven feet of it, and I did that because I wanted something that was reusable in my wave machine so that uh, rather than having to glue it every time and then break off the glue if I wanted to re redo it or modify it in any way, I figured with double-sided Velcro tape, I can just go in and I can do something like this. I can pull off one of the gumdrops, slide it right, that skewer, right. I don't have to worry about uh, you know, having to glue it back in at another time. So I modified it in that, in that way. The other nice thing about this is I can reposition these skewers just by pulling up on this Velcro. I move it further down this way, or I can you know, even pull one off from that end and then take it and put it back in to the other end. And there's all kinds of ways that your kids can customize this because you're using Velcro tape instead of ribbon and hot glue and hot glued on skewers. Now, of course, you could also play with uh, loading up one of these skewers with a couple of extra pieces of candy and seeing how that affects it. The other modification that I made, you'll notice down here, I put in a, uh, a C-clamp, which you can get at any hardware store. And rather than using bookends and taping the bookends in place, I just use a C-clamp so that I can loosen that up and then I can play with the tension of the center of my wave machine. So that, that center axis of my wave machine, I can play with the tension of it there by using this little C-clamp. So those are just some of the little things I did to modify or hack the hacking stem wave machine from Microsoft. Over here you'll also see one of the other projects that I've recently taken on, and this is a little powered house display. And you can learn more about that on the Microsoft site. So that's that. As always, for more tips and tricks, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.